Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Forms, how you can create new forms in the Microsoft Form, can add an existing form, can share form in your organizations and outside your organizations, how you can change setting of your forms and how you can beautify your forms. Everything we're going to cover in this particular video. So I'll just click on this new form here. You can provide the title for your form. I'll be creating a feedback form here. You can provide description here also. I'm not going to give anything. So I've already created a list of questions here uh, to cover everything that we can capture in this particular one. Click on this add new one. Here you have multiple option. You can create a choice type question, text, rating, date, and ranking like card, file upload, net promoter score, everything you can do here. So I'll be talking about most of them here. The first one I'm going to create is the text one, which I'll provide by asking a user as name. And uh, you can make this as a required field. And if you want to provide as a long answer, the text box will be longer, but I'll keep it as a short one. And uh, for every uh, single question, you have this setting options for that one here. In the restriction bar, you can select the restriction if you want, you know, this particular field to keep as a number or any other things you can provide less than, greater than all the options you have. So I'll just uh, uncheck this restriction and the second questions for me will be your contact number so why i'm doing this is to capture everything that we are talking about i went to this text section paste my question here and in the setting here i can select the restriction and i can check this number agent so when talking about the contact number the user can only provide the number here and the field will be required also third question which we are gonna provide is the date of attendance will be like a date option this one and the user can select the dates from here it will be required one also there is uh, not much options here. The fourth question so will be like uh, which training you attended. So I'll be using the choice option here. And now you can see that. And I can copy all the uh, options at once and can directly paste here. It will automatically take all these options and can delete the spare one. You can see this, but right now you can see that as a radio button options. If I go in my preview here, this is how it's look like, right? But what I want this one is as a uh, drop down one. So I'll go in this particular field in the setting. I'll change this to a drop down one. So now this will be as a drop down for us, right? And the next question will be, was it helpful regarding the training? And add new. It will be a choice option. In this case, I'll be providing this. So it is, you know, suggesting the option as well. Yes, no, and maybe. Right. And uh, it will be as a radio button for us. And... Uh, the next one is how likely you read this training. So we'll be selecting our rating option here. And you can select uh, whatever range you want. So I'm selecting five star. And if you want to put this as a number, you can put this in a number. This is the required field. And this is it here. And the last one we have is prepare training timing for future. What timing do you prefer? So probably we can select this as an uh, ranking so user can select by ranking also morning and uh, evening delete the third one right and uh, likewise you can add 
other as well uh, like you want to create a like card so you can create like card as it is if you require this kind of options i'm deleting this one and uh, you can also create a file upload one and you can also create a net promoter score like this so these are the options in the ms form you have once our form is done uh, we can preview this one how it's look like this is how it's look and all the fields we have done is the mandatory one the next one is theme you can provide nice background theme to your form uh, whichever you like in the default one and you can add your own custom theme as well so I'm going to select from this default one here and now the next thing is about sharing uh, so you can see the URL here you can just copy and uh, provide to any user in your organizations right and you can embed the code as well you can see copy and QR scanner is also there and you can uh, embed the code as well in using iframe and you can email this one as well but before sharing i'll go to the setting option here in the setting uh, there is a couple of things that we can see right now the default option selected is the people in your organization can respond right and if the people in your organization respond obviously you can uh, record their name and if you want to restrict this one one person at a time means one person can submit form only once you can check this one and option for response and a notification option is there also so accept response start date end date if you want to accept all these one so it will capture the start date as well means uh, if this form is need to be started at specific date and end date should be a specific date the form link will not work after that you can check box these option and if you want to send a customized thank you message you can uh, type that message here by default it is your response was submitted and uh, <clears throat> notification is send email to recipient once the form is submitted yes i want to send and uh, get email notifications for it is uh, the persons who create this particular form for every response the creator will get an email notification <clears throat> and uh, apart from this you have this option to select as well if you want to share this form outside your organizations or anyone who is having this particular link share the url with anyone and they will respond to this particular forms and rest of the options will change according to that so you have to the send recipient option is disabled in this case but get email notification for each response is enabled and uh, <clears throat> you cannot uh, record name and everything here that's why i have provided you know the name column and the contact number for you know at least tracking that's who is submitting the form so we're going to choose this particular anyone with link and respond and we are good to go so if i click this share option here now and copy this particular form url change my browser and type this URL here and you can see what is the name LT again it's provide anything like date of attendance I can select the date is today's date and which training did you attend it at SharePoint was it helpful yes how likely you rate first hour uh, prefer training time for future so this is the rating we have created so how you can do is if you prefer the evening time so you have to just drill it down evening will be your number one priority and it will be submitted once you click on the submit thanks your response was submitted right and once I'm in my form I can see in the responses that, that this user has submitted the response LT contact name this everything it submitted is here 
So this is the way you can actually see the response and also if the user submit the multiple responses, you can select the user from here if there is a multiple responses. And if you want to open this in Excel, you can open this in Excel as well. So that's all for the forms part. In my next videos, I'll be talking about how you can connect this to SharePoint, connect this to your Excel, also about how you can send this to your email as well. So I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.